spiritual, is spiritual. Therefore, spirituality means there is an in-depth treasure that has been built by the Lord within each and every individual uh, of this world. Spirituality is known and it is being felt by the only by the human beings who have the sixth sense which has been provided by the Lord. In spirituality, to grow this, it is only we will have to shape up ourselves to feel that what is the kind of uh, spirituality. And uh, what is the spirituality? Okay, sir. Now let us come to the word spirituality. Spirituality is nothing but spirit plus ritual becomes the spiritual. Every individual in this world, as a human, they are all the gift of God, the gift of the divine, gift of the powerful matter that we have come to this world that has to be understood by each and every one of us. The sixth sense is only given to the human being and while we say Vishwam Anu is Vishnu, Vishwam means it is universe, Anu is atom. Anu is atom in the sense atom has got a very powerful uh, interaction in this world and that has got a connection with the entire natural world and that spirituality it has been buried into the like a treasure it has been buried into in depth uh, of every human being and it is a treasure that has to be found by each and every one of us in the spirituality. Once we are able to connect to the divine and for divine the connections are the love and the sincerity and the patience, these are all the connecting wires that will lead you to a very contented and peaceful life and that is spirituality. Once you get a kind of realization, what is called self-realization, that is everything is to be centered in self, self-realization, self-contentment, self-encroachment, self-enrichment, self-reliance, self-satisfaction, everything is built on the self and that self is provided by the Lord and to treasure that uh, Lord and to remove that kind of treasure from you it requires a lot of sadhana or the practice which is being told and which has been preached by lots of rishis and munis and legends of this country. This country is the only country where we have the spirituality. This is the only country where we can get some kind of guidance from the Guru and then that kind of guidance is needed in each and every place where we live and likewise the Sirvaru has to be brought up to that extent is the main focus of this foundation on Nega Manandam which has been founded with the efforts of all friends circles which they found themselves as an experiment that what they have done and out of the experience what they have done the experiment yielded them a piece of mind and which they wanted to share this in the midst of the people in Thiruvaru and that was the first focus of the upon Anmiga Manandam or the happiness or the joyous mood through the spirituality is the focal point of this foundation. As a small element, as an instrument on the conversation between myself and Kanagaraj and his friends uh, brought into uh, some kind of idea that this kind of thing has to be started in a small place in Thiruvaru and Mr. Kanagaraj and his friends I think undertook it as a challenge and they arranged many speakers of prominent and eminent speakers on the spirituality they brought with the help of people and with the connections that they had to this Thiruvaru and Tyagaraja's temple campus was considered to be the best place to spread this kind of spirituality and eventually that has landed that was liked by each and every one of the uh, Thiruvaru citizens they all came together, they all supported this kind of activity. I think that is the main thing that this foundation has completed its third year and the fourth year has started. And I should say, I am also happy and I am also blessed and I should say that we are all at, under the lotus feet of the last Tyagaraja who is the authority to build some kind of contentment through spirituality. And this is the place where the Tyagaraja declared that he is the slave for those who follow him with love and affection, I think that was the Sundara Murti Nayana, who was the person, one who has been given the friendship of Lord Tyagaraja, who proved that the spirituality alone can win and the love alone can win and that love through the spirituality is the focal point of this foundation. I should say that this kind of activities is joined by all states, all through the country and all through the world, 
I think the world peace will automatically come to this entire universe. I think that is the main focus of the spirituality and that is the philosophy and everything is contented and everything is containing the philosophy and the philosophy is everybody should live in harmony and love. Sarve jana sukhino bhavantu, loka samasta sukhino bhavantu, everyone should be happy is the essence of the spirituality and all religions and it, no religion in this world is not talking about love. Every religion is talking about love. Every religion is talking about the sentiment of their own religion. And likewise, the Hindu dharma has to be protected by this kind of activities. And each and every state or each and every village, each and every town like Tiruvaru should come up and join hands with this kind of movement. And then only we will find a little bit of peace in this country. Today, we are in the turbulent world. Today we are in search of peace where it is not available. I think these are all the activities once we start. I think that is the best way to find the Lord wherever we are. This Anmiga Manandam Foundation, though it has started, for every journey of thousands of miles, every step is important. The first step has been taken by people like Kanagaraj and his friends and with the support. I think this is going on a very successful mode. This is going on a very successful track. And the network and network of the people and the friendship that is being supported, I think that is the best way that we can put it on a right track. We can take it to the height of Himalayas to bring in the, the glory of this country, which is the basic of philosophy, Indian philosophy, Hindu philosophy, any philosophy leads to this kind of thing. And this, is, this has got many plans, this foundation. Slowly they are moving in the right direction. They are moving in a direction where everyone should get a peace of mind by visiting temples, by doing Nama Sankirtan, by doing the, what the best that they can do to the people and to take the welfare of the people of those who are in trouble. You go there, you help them and then you renovate the temples, you get a kind of good living and the surroundings that are to be undertaken. And these are all the small activities that is being taken by the Anmiga Manandam Foundation. I think it is a laudable one. And then, and we will have to, yes, yes, and we will have to do this in a better way. And the latest, uh, uh, the Anmiga Manandam Foundation has started little bit more broader ideas. Now, the Sriwaru chariot or the tail or what we call it as the car, which is supposed to be, yeah, it was entered into a Guinness Book of World Records and this is a world class temple and the world class car that um, arrangements are being made. There are about five cars available in the Jagaraja temple and each and every one is very important to glorify this name of this Thiruvaru and it is known to the world that this Lord Tyagaraja is really a Raja or really the king that who dominates the world. Therefore, out of these five cars, the Zanmiga Manandam Foundation has taken a step of involving itself to bring back the glory of Subramanya car, which is the contented, uh, uh, what I should say, the containing part of the five cars. Therefore, this is costing about more than 40 lakhs or something. We are trying at a level just to go to each and every house, each and every donor who can come and forward to help this and everything in an overnight we cannot do. The efforts are needed and everyone should come together with their own heart and they should, we should try to push up this kind of effort which is definitely a righteousness of the Dharma to protect all these uh, temples and its glory. It is also very um, to, to be noted with the pride that Anmega Manandam Foundation is slowly entering into the fourth year and this is this will go on and this enter Thiruvarur and in and around we have collected about more than 50 volunteers to, uh, to build this kind of uh, great uh, organization and everybody is very eagerly waiting for such a great event to happen. It has become a monthly program that is being arranged on spirituality and every time whenever any kind of, kind of function is there, any kind of the, you can see the logo behind me, this logo has on its own it has been emanated and that idea itself is the divine one and it is a very attractive logo. I think it's all Together of the grace of the Lord Tyagaraja, this Adhimiga Manandam is marching ahead with success and with the full grace of the Lord. And we are all there with the friends and we are all there with the well-wishers and we will all join together to bring back the glory of the Thiruvaru 
forever and that is my appeal to all of you and uh, we will all get into a kind of good uh, opportunity for us to build a spiritual life in Thiruvaru and the Thiruvaru definitely is going to make that achievement in the near future through such kind of activity of the time, Anandam Foundation.